So let's say if there's a group which is A1, A2, and so on up to AK, then we know that if we form a series like this, then we know that we started with A1, then A1 multiplied by A1 will produce um, some new element and then that new element multiplied by A1 again will produce some other element and this will keep on repeat, this will keep happening unless we reach E or let's say call this A N and then we reach E. So su successive multiplication of A with itself will yield back to A1 itself and then uh, just before A1 we will get to reach E and again we will get A1 which multiply E by A1. So this is a cyclic procedure, cyclic procedure and this, uh, this, um, uh, and this number N is called the order of the group. Now if, th if this thing happens such that if we do this and it, the group repeats itself, which means we are able to reproduce, which means that this series here is nothing but a1, comma a2, comma so on, a k, which means the multiplication of a1 by itself produces the the group itself. Then it's called a cyclic group, a cyclic group. It's called a cyclic group. But it may happen that even for a bigger group, such that a1 a2 and so on up to AK, only few elements show cyclic or make cyclic group. Then this is called cyclic subgroup. For example, let's say if we have elements A, B, C, D, and E, and they form a group G, such that we know that A square equals C, A cube equals B, A4 equals E, and A5 equals D. Then this particular group is a cyclic group. But let's say that when we see that all the elements have been repeated. There is A itself, then C, B, D, C. All the elements have been repeated in G. But it may happen that A equals, I mean A square equals C, A square, A cube equals B, A4 equals, uh, this is E, E, but A5 equals E, the unit element. I should have written a unit element here also. And then we can say A6 equals E. So this is an example. So all the elements have been repeated here. A, B, C, D, E, and the unit element. But here only A, B, C, E, and capital E has been repeated. And if we, might, if we try to find uh, A6, then A6 is, not, is going to be nothing but A itself. So we come back to A, but we missed D here. So this uh, group, A, B, C, E, and E is a cyclic subgroup. So each group has a cyclic subgroup and when all the elements repeat itself then it's a complete cyclic group.